last leg of our journey took us through two of Utah's gems, Zion and Bryce Canyon National Parks. At the junction of the Colorado Plateau, the Great Basin, and the Mojave Desert, Zion exhibits unique geology that the Mormon community deemed heavenly. They called the area Kalab from their scriptures, signifying a heavenly residence, but the park was later renamed Zion by the National Park Service in 1918. The park is a unique mixture of deserts, woodlands, and forested habitats that lends to its unparalleled scenery. Zion Canyon itself extends 15 miles with red walls towering over 2,500 feet in the sky, providing views that live up to the park's name. Because we were traveling off-season, the park was nearly deserted when we arrived. This meant the daylight hours were also short though, and our afternoon quickly melted away. We decided to end the day early and rest up for the day ahead. As it was off season, there weren't any restaurants open, so we dined the old fashioned way with fresh produce, cheese, and of course, wine. The next day, we awoke to news of rain headed our way. We decided to head out early that morning and do what we could before the weather changed. We chose to start at the northern end of the park and walk the winding path of the Narrows. Unfortunately, that earlier threat of rain came true just as we were heading down to the cars. For the next few hours, we were forced to catch the canyon views through our car windows. But we weren't alone. There were others trying to escape the rain as well. But before long, the rain had gone, and we had another chance to explore the trails. This time, it was Scout's Lookout, the last stop before reaching Angel's Landing. we had reached the summit of Scout's Landing, that off-season weather was coming back into play, forcing us down into the valley floor. But just as before, the clouds didn't linger long, and we soon started to see our first rays of sunshine. The dynamics of Zion were simply incredible. With the afternoon coming to a close, we only had a short time for one last venture 
to the Emerald Pools. This basic valley trail leads to several small pools fed by gentle falls, showing the softer side of Zion. On our hike out of the valley, the sun reappeared and Zion showed its warm tones to us one last time. But it was time to go. We had to say our farewells to this heavenly place. Tall, statuesque, and speckled in clouds, it was a somber but sweet goodbye. Zion was the most commanding and memorable park on our tour, and without a doubt, earns its otherworldly title. 